This movie will demonstrate how we indent and cleave small samples using a combination of the lattice axe indent and cleaving system and the small sample cleaver. You will see the sample loaded into small sample cleaver hold downs, positioned in the hold down, and then transferred to the lattice axe where it will be indented, and then transferred back to the small sample cleaver for the cleaving step. To cleave a sample using the small sample cleaver, you first want to load the sample into the hold down so that it can be accurately cleaved. And in this case, I'm using the 700 micron jaws, and you can see it fits in the holder. Once in the holder, I will now indent the sample using the lattice axe. I've moved the sample to the lattice axe and the hold down. I'm going to position it for indenting. Position the indenter over the area of interest and I'm going to indent uh, just as is normal. Now I'll transport the holder back to the small sample cleaver. Once the sample is in its hold down and on the small sample cleaver, I'll now move it over to the cleaving pin. Uh, I'm looking through a magnifying lamp and I'll use my soft tip fiber tweezers to push the sample up over the cleaving pin. And now I'm going to push gently on the white dots that you see on the small sample cleaver. Zoom in a little bit. So now that it, the sample has the indent aligned with the white line over the pin, I'll push gently on the white dots and you'll see that the sample has cleaved. Review the process once more. We load the sample into the hold down. We transfer the sample now to the lattice axe for indenting. I'll now indent the sample on the lattice axe. Remove it from the lattice axe and put it back on the small sample cleaver and cleave with the small sample cleaver. So I'm positioning the sample. I'm going to push it up over the pin. and push on the white dots to cleave. And now I have cleaved the previous sample in half. So by doing so, we don't have to touch the surface of the sample with our fingers, and we're able to secure it with the, the hold downs 
provided in the small sample cleaving kit. Your kit comes with the four hold downs uh, for anything from about 250 to 950 microns thick. Uh, so there's the hold down with the white dots. We can zoom in on the cleaving pins. These are the cleaving pins that we're using uh, as our leverage point for the cleaving and we typically use the small pin. For some samples it's advantageous to make a short scribe. This is uh, where we use this uh, caliper. Put the sample in its vise uh, and push it up against this caliper. It sets back the sample by a half a millimeter uh, and by doing so when you make your indent on the lattice axe it will be closer to a half a millimeter uh, and I think you can see the gap that's uh, provided there. I can also maintain the same setback for the cleaving if I like by pushing the sample up over, pushing the sample up against the half millimeter setback. on the small sample cleaver and then moving the sample over to the cleaving position and cleaving as normal.